right, my people. What's going on? Look, you see this little piece of land here? Everybody's trying to fight for this little piece of land. And that land does not belong to those that is trying to fight for the land. You could imagine? That land does not belong to them. And the people who that land belongs to not fighting. Yes, that land does not believe. That land does not belongs to those people that is fighting. On the rightful honor, sitting back and let strangers come into their land. and destroying that land completely. You know why? Because the whole world sit back and let these hockey pyres do what they want into my grandf grandfather's land. It's called the land of Canaan. And the Canaanites are not white people. Read my lips. They're not white people. And everybody sit back, especially the black man. He, he, he care less what take place. Those people that you call the Palestinian, they're the revenant of the black people that were living there. They came from black people. By the Limeys. Remember, the Greek been in Africa for a long time. The Dutch been in there for a long time. They, they just don't get in there and start to write history. They hang around with the black man and the black woman and they start to breed them. The Arabs are black people, but now their white people are off white. What I'm saying to you, black man, you all sit back into the land of Africa and let Strangers come in and occupy the land and doing what they want to do over there. Huh? You let them do what they want to do into the land of Canaan. Huh? Kemet is into the land of Canaan. The place you call Israel is in the land of Canaan. Remember, those people are hockey pyres. The Security Council know they are hockey pyres. But who set up the Security Council? The United States. And all of them come together and agree on their doing. And look. Over 28 people get killed in the land you call Palestine. See, they're making up names. From the land of Canaan to Palestine. From Mesopotamia to Babylon and to Iraq. That's all they're doing it. They're making up names. So the black man is unconcerned of the doing of the white man. Care less. He do not care what take place. You could imagine. Africa is two and a half times the size of the United States. And they don't sit back with them all shut. Whew. Not hurting a word. Care less. Those people that they're killing is our half brothers. The woolly man, that's his half brothers. 
and no one is coming to their rescue. No one. You know why they're scared? Look, these guys don't have a here plane to bomb nothing. They don't have a passenger plane. They don't have a tanker. They don't have a ship. And a man with big bomb is bombing them with airplanes. And everybody sit back. Their little rockets that they have is like for Christmas. They can't do any damage. The little damage that they did is nothing. Huh? But look, as your book, the Bible said, as your Bible said, if it's right or wrong, for the wrong that those people did that came into the land of Canaan. It's going to be destroyed. Not the land, the people that live there is going to be destroyed because of their wrong. You move into a weak man's house, break his house down, kill his animals, take his land, and displace him. You get some punishment have to come sooner or later. Some punishment have to take place. It's gonna go on like that. And then you call the people Jewish people. There is nobody named Jewish people. David's David is not a Jewish man. David is from the line of, of you do it, Judah. Not Judah, Judah. Cause there's no J, so it have to be a Y. Solomon, Emmanuel. Emperor Selassie, they're from the line of Judah. So therefore they have to be black people. And those people were living into the land of Canaan, which you call Israel. And it's a small patch of land, small little patch of land. And everybody going there fighting for this small little patch of land. See that little patch of land? Everybody fighting for the little patch of land. You see? Everybody fighting for this patch of land. The West Bank, everybody is fighting for it. Jerusalem, everybody fighting for it. Now, in in Gaza, see Gaza over here? It's little. Everybody want it. Huh? Everybody fighting for it. And guess what? The rightful owner is not doing anything. <coughs> What do you mean by the rightful owner? The owner of the land is a woolly man. My great grandfathers and great grandmothers, they die and gone and they have descendant. I am the descendant of the, the woolly people. It cannot go on like that. You are waiting on the white man to rescue you. Black man, he's not going to do anything. Take my word, he's not 
going to do nothing. He will be fighting against his people. No, he's not going to fight against his people. When they're trying to destroy the woolly revenant of the black man. Look, all of the place you call the Middle East, because there's no such place as Middle East. They fool your mind again. Fooling your mind, fooling your mind, black man. <laughs> you see how they're fooling your mind? So we can wake up out of this stagnant, dirty water. There is no place named Palestine. But yeah, let's use the word Palestine. Because it's the land of Canaan. Let, let's use the word on the people that is living there. Let's use the word on the name that they call themselves. What do you think gonna happen? Huh? When some stranger come into the land and killing the people that were living into the land. You gotta be messed up. Not trying to talk up. You gotta speak up. Hey, those people that is dropping all those bombs and breaking down all these homes, they're wrong. They are wrong, totally wrong. And somebody gotta stand up. Demolish the place. Why? Why are you de demolishing people's homes? Why are you displacing the people that they're, they're been there for a long, long time? Why are you doing that? Oh, the land belongs to the Israeli. Those people that is living there, they're not Israeli. I heard black men say they were, those white people were there before. If they were there before, how do they go to Germ Germany? When they went to Germany, were they speaking Hebrew? Who speak Hebrew? Who speak Aramaic? Huh? Why people doesn't speak Hebrew? That's not their language. Who speak Aramaic? Not white people. That's not their language. So the, you see the point what I'm trying to make? Maybe you can't overstand, and that is the problem. Because when the brain is full for a long time, it's going to be remain foolish. David speak Hebrew. David is a black man. Solomon. He moved all the way up into Ethiopia. He speak Aramaic. Cause they're giant. The land of Canaan and the land of Ethiopia, which you call Ethiopia. Let's use the word because it's called Kush. Long time ago. There is no English language there until later on. So the point what I'm making, what's going on with the black man? He's unconcerned. He's dead to his knowledge. He cannot redeem himself. So we just let other people telling us what is right and what is wrong. That's what we're doing, letting other people telling us what is right from what is wrong. Like we do not have any sense of our own, our senses of our own. Huh? We all know the land doesn't belong to those white people. Just like in South Africa, you know the land does not belong to those white people. 
and you just sit back. You know the gold and the diamond in South Africa doesn't belong to them. You, did you give it to them? Huh? So now, what are you going to do? You can't help yourself. So you cannot help your people. Or you cannot help your off race people. Cause you're a mix up. You know, the Italian go up in there. The Dutch, the Romans, the Greek, they have babies with our black women. That's how these Palestinians come in existence, as you call them Palestinians. Where are they from? Just think about it. Middle East? There's no Middle East. The people that go up into Africa, it's all Africa. But if you want to be foolish, keep on saying Middle East. Because it's the same with the people, they know there's a body named Jesus and they keep on saying Jesus. So keep on saying Middle East. Because it's not going to change. By you using the word Middle East, it's not going to change. It's all Africa. And when you start using the word Africa for those land, Iraq, it's Africa. Jordan, it's Africa. Syria, it's all Africa. The place you call Egypt, Kush. Kemet, it's all Africa. It's not no Middle East. Stop, let the people fool your mind. Stop, let the people fool your mind. And we need to wake up and try to solve the problem of our people. Letting other people killing your people is doing nothing. Sitting back. Hello? You're all unconcerned. Look, Africa is not doing anything pretending to those people. Where is the African Union? Or, or Africa separate themselves from the land of Kenya? You know the place that they call Israel, black people were living there a long time ago. It's all, it was all black people. Until Brit the British brought those people from Germany and from Russia that they call Jewish people. You heard it? Jewish. But I'm trying to tell you over and over, there's no body name Jewish people, there's nobody born named Jewish. And there's nobody born named Jews. But they keep on using the word. They're Hebrews. Or Israelite. But they're not trying to keep on doing that. They're trying to keep on saying Jewish. And Jews. Huh? You know why? Because they base their mind on the Bible. And that's what's happened. Remember, the Bible were not here from, from beginning. As you say, beginning. The Bible has been made by the white people. Hello? But by you can't overstand, you get caught up. We gotta wake up. We cannot let strangers dominate your grandfather land. 
and killing your half brothers and half sisters. No, can't work like that. It's got to change. How is it going to change? African Union need to stand up and let the hockey pie know they're doing something that is wrong. They are occupiers. And they're killing people that is not occupiers. We're going to have a big dilemma. Just, just take, just chill out and see what's going to happen. Because the black men have no gun to fight with. He can't fight. Look at all those big fire smoke that the people call themselves Israeli. They're not Israeli people. They're not. They're not Israeli. They're white people. How can't you get it in your head, black man? They're not Israelis. They're not from there. Don't tell me they leave from there and go to the Caucasus Mountain thousand and thousand years ago. No, they have no right for the land. Huh? They have no right for that land. The people that have right for that land is David descendant. And they're not from the line of David because David is not white. Hello? That should change your thought and idea. David is not a white man. Solomon is not a white man. Queen of Sheba is not a white woman. On that land based on those people. We're talking the real Mackay. They're not white people. Joseph is not a white man. But you call him Joseph. There's no J. He's Joseph. He's not a white man. He's a black man. Because he's from the tribe of Judah. Hello? David is from the tribe of Judah, Judah, not Judah, Judah. Just like Emperor Selassie. Hello? And we messed everything up because we're not giving the knowledge the way it's supposed to be. We're giving the knowledge of the white man. He's the one that changed things around. He called Kemet Egypt. And it, it messed up. And the brothers that is speaking, they still saying Egypt. They're not trying to penetrate the mind of the people with the name Kemet. So we messed up. Every time they speak, first word comes out of their mouth. Egypt. They're not basing on Kemet. There's no place named Egypt. So why you keep on using the word? And you're teaching your people. Why? So the people cannot understand. Because everything is messed up by the white man. True, true is doing. So by he come and change things in his way, in his long way, I, f I figure we all get stuck. Because we're not doing anything. We're not doing anything pretending to the motherland. All we're saying, oh, we want to go back to the motherland. How are you going to go back? 
How are you going to go back? How are you going to return? The line is there. We got to speak to the leader that is there. But they're under the power of the white men, so you're going to waste your time. So you can't waste your time, so you don't sit back. Huh? You cannot waste your time, so you sit back. The people that is speaking about re repatriation is the Jamaicans. Black American never know nothing about repatriation until Marcus Garvey came here. But before Marcus Garvey came here, the Jamaicans already know about repatriation. They got up ships and ship to repatriate, and when the government of Jamaica get in power, they change their mind. People sell out their belongings to other people in the island to repatriate. In the thirties, and when the government change and they get in power, the ship never leaves the dock. So the people that sold their things out, they becomes a pauper because they already spent all their money for clothing, suit, dresses, suitcases. And they could not go back to get their land because they waste their money on buying material things to repatriate to another land. All a few of them went back. And those that was in the United States, some of them went to Sierra Leone. And they, some went to Liberia. And they, they never continued to go. They stopped their going. So the point that I'm making, the American that is speaking about Africa, they do not know too much about Africa. They're reading from books. And by their reading from books, they get confused. In the 20s, what I'm saying, the Jamaican were not reading from books. They know that they're from Ethiopia. They know that, hey, they have to go back to Liberia. They know they have to go back to Libya. The black Jamaicans, as you call them Rastafarian. And I hang with those people when I was a youth. Now everybody is Rasta and everybody want to go back to Africa. You see what I'm talking about? And you're not trying to talk to the leaders. The leaders are not trying to talk to the leaders of Africa how they can get their people back. They're not doing none of that. They're bullshit talking because they're trying to make money. I'm not trying to make money when I speak. I care less about you two pennies. Because I got food to eat. And once you got food to eat, you should not worry about money too much. Because it's made by man. When you ain't got it, what are you going to do? You're going to go crazy. Because you cannot do what you want to do. Because you ain't got no money. And if you got to do things with money, you can't do nothing. You have to try to learn to do things without money. When, you was a, when I was a young boy, we didn't have TV, we didn't have radios, and we make our own shows, our own TV shows, by playing with each other. Hunting the birds, playing with the dogs, and you have your own fun. So you grow up with different knowledge from the children that sit before the TV 24 hours a day. 
But now all the Jamaican youth have TVs. I'm talking in the 50s. A lot of Jamaican didn't have TVs. We got a thing called Radio Fusion. You turn it on, put them, one station. And that's it. There's nothing to change. Either hop, turn it up, or turn it down. Now everybody's bragging now. They have this and they have that. And they're not trying to seek all the way out to repatriate. It's all stuck, Marcus, since Marcus got to be finished. But what I'm saying to you, black man, we cannot let those strangers go up into the land of Canaan and killing our half brothers and sisters. And we just sit back and not doing anything. And the African Union is not saying anything. Look, the white man is not going to say any, anything because the white man is killing off race people. Who are the Palestinians? They're not white and they're not black. Who are they? They're mixed breed. If you don't know that, they're not Arabs. Arabs, the two Arabs are black people. The true Israelite are black people. Okay? The real Makai black. Solid black. Solid black. Solid black. And wool on his head are returned into dread. I came out with this complexion because of the white men mess with my grandmother. The woolly woman. And they've been doing it for a long time. They did it in Africa before they did it in the Western world. When they go up into the land of Canaan, they don't have sex with the beast, they have sex with the black woman. From Kemet to Mesopotamia, all the way down, they have sex with the black ladies. They didn't have sex in the Congo until later. But when they go down into the Congo, they start having sex with the black ladies. They go to Nigeria, they start having sex with the black ladies. That's how these white, this brown race comes out. Nature doesn't make no other race. Only race is this race, solid black. But going down through time, by mixing, this color comes out. I heard men say, oh, nature make all type of race. Bullshit! Nature doesn't make the mule. Make it up. Nature doesn't make the chicken. Nature doesn't make the bananas. Nature, do nature doesn't make the cabbage. There's a lot of things nature doesn't make that we're using today. Nature doesn't make the carrot the way it is today. Nature doesn't make the watermelon as it is today, seedless. Bullshit! Man change a lot of stuff around. So what I'm saying to you, nature doesn't make no other man but the black man. Solid black. Solid black. That's how nature make him. So if you think nature make him my color, you're messed up. But I'm from the woolly man because I came out with the wool. That's all I'm saying. So I have to lean to the woolly man. I can lean to the white man because he got hair on his head. As I said, if you keep on watching, you will overstand something. You're going to overstand something. 
And we have to try to help the, those people that other people are killing. Because they belongs to us. The white man doesn't belong to us. As I said, keep on watching. Peace, respect. I'm out of here.